everyone in this video we will see how to build a simple word guessing game in python so we will move to the ideally and here you you can see i have already written the program i will just show you by running and then i, I will explain you the code by running you can you will be aware about how this game works so there are six letter word there is six letter word and there is incorrect guesses left i have six incorrect guesses left okay the number of blank spaces and number of incorrect guesses are equal so i have to guess the letter in this word basically so firstly let me guess a okay oops a is not in the word means a is not in this word so i have to uh, think about q q is also not in the word the incorrect guesses are four and now if i do n n is there in the word and is in the last okay and if i guess y okay y is there in the last if i am going right then okay p is there in the so so if h o congratulations you guess the word python the word was python i just uh, got n at the last and y here and incorrect guesses left are four and I have guessed the word. This is a quite uh, interesting game, but let's see how this code basically works. You can see these five sets of uh, statements are continuously printing in every situations with just one word, uh, one word appending at the end of the missing letters. So how this is happening? Let's see. So we have imported a ran module random. We have some sort of words over here. We have already defined the words like Python, Hangman, Developer, Computer Programming, Algorithm, etc. In the Choose Word function, which is a user defined function, and Random dot Choice Choice function in Random module basically uh, selects a random string from a list of strings. Okay, from the list of strings, selects a random string. Now an another function I made to display the current progress of the guessed word. If letter if it will take the argument as word and the guess letters basically uh, so what will it display and uh, we have made a, a variable display which includes letter if letter in guess letters else this for letter in word means if letter isn't there in guess letters then it will return the letter else it will return this for letter in the word else it will return this will join the display fine join function is used to link the space and the display one if uh, the display basically will give uh, letter or the blank space okay or the underscore function to check if the player has won or not if the player has been won means uh, if the letter is in guess letters for letter in word for letter in word means we are using the for loop here and for letter in word letter in guess letters till when it will be true then it will return all the letters now function to run the game def play game word we have to choose a word choose a word from this and if a uh, player chooses a word uh, player will not be able to choose the word because word is guessed by the computer player will have to guess the word guess letters set incorrect guesses are equal to zero and maximum incorrect guesses are equal to six number of wrong guesses allowed is six only so it will print the welcoming message again and while incorrect guesses is less than maximum incorrect guesses while zero is less than six we have to in, uh, we have to make increment in the incorrect guesses so then it will Firstly, take the user input, then validate the input. If length of the guess is not equal to one or not, guess dot is alpha. Alphabet it should be alphabet. Okay, and this is basically the code in the core play game function. Fine. And how to run the game? To run the game, we uh, we are using if name equal to main and play game. Uh, I can just write play game over here and it will it will run it will run it will there is there is no problem over here, right? Now let's play this game again. This is quite interesting. It's three, four, five, six, seven words. Now 
let's think out A. Good guess A is there in the and there is a uh, two types. Okay. If I can think about the word. And last one is M. Congratulations, you guessed the word hangman. Fine. So this is the game basically. And uh, this is a simple game you can write and play in your meantime. Uh, such games are a fun activity we can do with Python or we will learn through these games what we can make new what creative we can make I thought that this can be a creative idea so I just made the game you can too make any game like uh, tic-tac-toe like number guessing I already made the number guessing game you can uh, find it on my channel find it on this channel too I hope you understood the uh, code and how this game works these uh, stuffs are useful to study deep in such concepts and I hope you are you understood the concept thank you guys thank you for listening too patiently see you in the next video bye bye